What happened between 50 Cent and Will Smith? Northwest shows off her rap skills. 21 Savage confronts Aiden Ross. And Nike teams up with Megan Thee Stallion. Let's talk about it. 50 Cent and Will Smith's friendship deteriorated after the rapper confronted him about his troubling life choices. Will Smith and 50 Cent's friendship ended after 50 Cent made fun of Will's marriage to Jada Pinkett. Then again, 50 Cent and Will Smith's friendship began in the early 2000s, and they were frequently spotted together at events. 50 Cent publicly insulted Jada multiple times on social media, suggesting that his friendship with Will Smith might be currently non-existent. Will Smith and rapper 50 Cent have been friends for decades, but all that ended when 50 Cent made fun of Will Smith's marriage to Jada Pinkett. Seeing as the two superstars are both key figures in the entertainment industry, they have brushed shoulders on various occasions, including exclusive parties and award ceremonies, and possibly even work together. Before Men in Black, Will Smith was best known for being the first rapper to win a Grammy Award in 1989 for the hit record, Parents Just Don't Understand. So early on, Smith was a public figure in rap that rappers like 50 Cent, who were coming up in the 90s and 2000s, could look up to. 2003 was 50 Cent's biggest year with the release of his hit, In The Club. And it was also the year fans got one of the first photos of Smith and 50 Cent together at the MTV Music Awards. Since then, Will Smith and 50 Cent have been good friends spotted together at a movie premiere and red carpet events. Now we take a look back at what caused the 50 Cent and Will Smith feud and whether they are still friends. Singer August Alsina broke the internet when he revealed he had been in a relationship with Jada Pinkett Smith while she was married. At first, Jada Pinkett denied August's claims through her reps, saying the allegations were not true, but admitted to the entanglement while on an episode of her show, The Red Table Talk, with Will Smith as a special guest. After the episode dropped, 50 Cent reached out to Will Smith in his DMs to check up on him, as any friend would. But the G-Unit rapper didn't receive the kind of response he was expecting. When he asked Smith if he was alright, the Oscar winner replied, Yes, I'm cool. I appreciate your concern, my brother. The rapper went on to ask him why Jada shared with the world intimate details about their marriage when Smith responded with, we broke up, so she did her, and I did me. An eager 50 Cent responded, then she said only she can give permission for somebody to blow her back out. Smith cursed out the rapper, F you 50. The candy shop hitmaker said, wait, what did I do? The rapper then shared the screenshot of their messages on his page with the caption, damn, it's like that. Then 50 Cent goes on to insult Jada Pinkett on social media. After the Jada Pinkett Smith's affair with August Alsina, Will Smith and Jada Pinkett appeared to reunite and try to work on their marriage. However, 50 Cent still felt the need to insert himself in his former friend's relationship drama. While at the NBC interview, Pinkett admitted she knew she became the adulterous wife in the eyes of the public, adding that people assumed she forced her husband of more than 20 years to go to the table and sit there. Now look what she's done. She has the power with an eye roll to make him go up and slap somebody on stage. Similar to the last time she opened up, Pinkett received a lot of backlash for embarrassing Smith every chance she got. It is unclear if this time around, when 50 Cent heard the latest reports about the Oscars incidents, whether the rapper reached out to Will Smith personally to inquire about his well-being before going on the social media rant. 50 Cent posted a series of photos on his official Instagram page calling out Jada Pinkett Smith after she mentioned legendary rapper Tupac Shakur asked her to marry him. He shared a meme of Pinkett in the car with the late rapper and captioned it, Thug Life Jada, in New York looking for Puffy. LOL. Think you getting away with this? Now, in another post, 50 shared a photo of Will Smith's wife with the byline, Jada Pinkett Smith reveals she sold a lot of crack as a teenager. And All right, enough is enough. Free Will Smith. WTF. What is going on? 
seeing as 50 Cent is still publicly making fun of Will Smith's wife, by starting the free Will Smith campaign, 50 Cent and Will Smith friendship is likely non-existent at the moment. Will Smith and Jada Pinkett's marriage came back into the limelight during the 2022 Oscar ceremony when Will Smith went on stage and assaulted Chris Rock. According to Pinkett, she was shocked when King, the King Richard actor slapped Rock in her defense and called her his wife. Since according to her latest book, they have been living separately since 2016. In an interview with Hoda in 2023, Pinkett gave a reason why her relationship with Smith is fractured. A lot of things, and I think by the time we got to 2016, we were both just exhausted with trying. Will Smith, on his part, only had good things to say about his wife's comments on their marriage through an email to the New York Times. Man, what do y'all think about that? Is Jada dragging Will? Should he just move on? Or you think he, he really loved her? I think he really loved her. Now, Kanye's daughter, Northwest, she's been showing off her rap skills in Daddy's Kanye West's new music video. Northwest, she's been showing off. She's got singing skills, rapping skills. The song is called Talking Once Again. The video opens with the 10 year old repeatedly chanting, you don't want no problems, you just, and then harmonically singing, talking. While sitting in a chair, getting her hair braided, she continues to lip sing rapping, I love it here. We're gonna take over this year for another year. It's your bestie, Miss, Miss Westy. Don't try to test me, it's gonna get messy. It's gonna get messy, just bless me, she continues. She repeats the lines throughout the video while also whispering into the heartless hitmaker's ear and later sitting on his shoulders. Midway through the track, Ty Dolla Sign enters with vocals while joined by 22-year-old daughter Jalen Crystal belting out about how fast she's growing up. Cuz, she just doing all this is I did when I was her age. I don't know how I'm gonna tell her, but her daddy's afraid of her choices, he sings. Meanwhile, Kanye, who changed his name to Ye, remains quiet throughout the majority of the video as he briefly flashes his new $850,000 titanium teeth. The new hit is a part of Bomb 2, rapper 46, Ty Dolla Sign's upcoming album, Vultures, which is set to be released on February 9th. Several fans were left in awe at the father-daughter collaboration, referring to North's new venture as a rapper in full circle moment. There's something beautiful, full circle, of seeing Ye's daughter create something like this. And to see Ty and his daughter, I am the only one tearing up right now. One fan wrote in a UTAM video comment, watching Ye's talent shine through North is such a precious, powerful gift. Another gushed. Ye's beautiful smile, love his connection with his daughter, a third chimed in. There's something truly magical about the way these fathers are bounding are bonding with their daughters through music. It's a reminder that love and support from family can make all the difference. I'm loving the positive vibes in this project, one person wrote. Now, North made her rapping debut during Kanye and the Blaze Rappers listening party in Miami, where she introduced herself as Miss Westy. The Gold Digger singer shares North along with Saint, who's eight, Chicago Six, and Psalm 4 with his ex-wife Kim Kardashian. The former couple married for seven years before the Skims founder filed for divorce in February 21. Kanye has since moved on with his new wife Bianca. Man, y'all think Miss Westy is gonna be a star? She got some bars. She do, she got some bars. Now, 21 Savage confronts Aiden Ross over the two million dollars he paid Playboy Cardi to stream. 21 Savage confronted Aiden Ross after the streamer apparently paid Playboy Cardi two million for making a cameo appearance on one of his live streams. A masked up Cardi appeared on Ross Kick stream on Sunday night following the 2024 Grammys Awards where the rapper performed alongside Travis Scott. After Cardi arrived wearing a black mask gifted to him by Kanye West, the streamer pulled out a duffel bag filled with cash and handed it to the rapper to which he gave Russ a hug. 
Despite the handsome fee, King Vamp said little and stuck around for only six minutes before leaving to go to the studio. 21 Savage, who recently made a controversial appearance on Aiden Ross' stream, later phoned the gamer while he was on air to quiz him about the payment to Playboy Cardi. A stunned Savage asked Ross, two million bro? Although the streamer denied that that was the full amount that Cardi was paid, the British born rapper then said, why the F you ain't pay me bro, that's crazy bro. I ain't gonna lie bro, that's, that's, that's effed up bro. Ross replied, brother, I was gonna buy you cars and but what do you mean? 21 answered, two million? Two million for six minutes bro? You paid for six minutes, but the streamer continued to deny that Cardi was paid for his appearance to which the No Heart rapper countered, I just seen you give him a big bag of cash. The streamer then tried to convince 21 that they would make money together, but the rapper wasn't having it. Commenting, bro, we gotta talk when I see you. 21 Savage appeared on Aiden Ross' show last week to much online controversy after the two began gambling on cards. The Atlanta rapper allegedly tried to scam Ross out of 120,000 over a high stakes dice game after he was caught using what appeared to be marked cards. When Ross noticed that he had been scammed after inspecting the cards they played with, 21 Savage denied having any prior knowledge of the markings. Ross addressed the chat after showing the rap star the marked cards saying, listen, I'm gonna be honest chat, they're not his cards. I know he's not gonna do that to me. Savage later paid Ross 250,000, but some fans think it was a publicity stunt as the rapper began selling cards and dice on his website shortly after. Yeah, it might have been a publicity stunt, for sure, for sure. Now, Megan Thee Stallion, she's not letting nothing get to her right now. She's dissing with, she's got her diss track out, she's going heads up with all the females, and well, I'm pretty sure she's happy about the new bag that she just got from Nike. That's right, Nike teams up with Megan Thee Stallion on an inclusive collaboration celebrating all bodies. Megan Thee Stallion has revealed her latest endeavor with Nike. Out today alongside with sportswear brand is a Megan approved Nike buy footwear and apparel collaboration entitled Hot Girl Systems. The collection is designed to empower and celebrate all bodies and all movements to create an exclusive and accessible space in fitness. The collection is roughly three years in the making and Megan has been working with Nike on it since 2021. She tells Essence.com that the partnership came together organically. She adds that both teams shared the same values of empowering people in their fitness and wellness journeys. It was a natural fit, she said in an email, inclusively was a key part of the design process. It was really important to me to make the collection available to all the hotties, which is why we were able to offer flexible sizing options from as small as extra small to 4X, Megan added. Nike saw the vision and I'm thankful for how collaborative they've been during this entire process. The rapper and Grammy Award winner is an athlete in her own right. She regularly shares her workout routines online as the hot girl coach, revealing her dedication and endurance as she performs. She shows off stamina throughout her shows and dominates the stage with the commanding presence and confidence. The Hot Girl Systems collection is in Megan Thee Stallion style and her functional perspective of mental and physical wellness. It consists of apparel featuring Megan's signature hottie flames and Y2K inspired graphics. Additionally, it takes inspiration from her affinity for female anime warriors from shows like Black Clover, Soul Eater, Jiu-Jitsu, Naruto, and My Hero Academia. Pieces like Nike Pro shorts, sports bras, and bodysuit, and bomber jacket with removable straps and sleeves are all available for sizes XS to 4X. Additionally, the collection also includes Nike by You Air Max 97, Sneakers by Megan Thee Stallion in glitter, chrome, and reflective, which lets fans customize their pair with hand-selected finishes chosen by the rapper. The sneakers come with exclusive Megan Thee Stallion shoelery like charms and hoops that are reminiscent of ear cuffs, a new MTS logo, 
and a highly typograph, of course, inspired by her love of anime. Megan goes on to say, I just wanted the sneakers and to be customized options that reflect me. Everything from the name to the sneakers to the colors. As part of this partnership with Nike, Hotties can begin joining the rapper for two new workouts on the Nike Training Club app starting on March 4th. In addition to her existing NTC workouts, these are to keep Hotties inspired to keep moving. I'm a big believer that fitness has a powerful impact on physical and mental health. So I hope my two workouts on the Nike Training Club app can have the positive effect for the hotties. With the collection, I want people to feel sexy and comfortable whenever they're wearing it, whether at the gym or just relaxing at home. Megan Stallion hopes that her collection with Nike will inspire her fans, fitness newbies, and others to move in new ways as they embrace their bodies and go deeper into their physical wellness journeys. It's about building confidence in the process and spreading positivity. In other words, of life as you start to feel good. It's all about using our platforms to uplift and encourage others. The Nike X Megan Thee Stallion Hot Girl Systems Collection launches today on the rapper's birthday. You can shop the collection on February 20th via MeganTheStallionStore.com and at select Nike retailers. The Air Max 97 sneakers and glitter launch on February 22nd, while Chrome and Reflective will be available February 27th. You think that's going to be a successful collection? Girls like shoes. Girls like shoes. Well, tell me what y'all think about that, man. Drop some info in the comments. And if you like this type of content, don't forget to hit that like button. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'm out.